What's up everyone, welcome back to Raven Widow, my two good master. The last episode was the absolute game of the year so far. A 70 minute Raven Widow mine banger, the entire map mine out and it was absolutely fantastic. But now we have to pick up where we left off. RMR is almost 4.6k. Let's begin. The first game of the day is against a Barco Terran player on Amphil. Now TVT is actually a matchup in which I've gained some confidence in this challenge throughout the last couple games. At the start... I wasn't so sure about it. I remember we had a game against one of our subscribers where, yeah, we honestly got absolutely bullied. And that was kind of a, maybe a bit of a wake-up call for me that I needed to find some different tactic and stuff. Because keep in mind, guys, we are not at Grandma's Hour yet. We still have to freaking reach it. And so far, it has been a little bit of a struggle. But after that one game, we had a really nice win streak in TVT. We actually got revenge against the subscriber as well. Uh, and that, you know, really gave me a lot of confidence back. I think this was even the map on which we won. I don't I don't remember which map we lost on. I think the map we lost on was probably El Cyane. I'm just thinking back of what the layout of the map was. It was probably El Cyane. And I think we won on this map. Oh, I, I even remember the strategy that we used. And I remember saying that we, we kind of figured it out. Like this was probably the best game we played so far. Because uh, I was rallying non... I was doing proxy starport, right? Yeah, I was doing proxy starport. And then I was rallying non-stop Widowmines across the map. Burrow them here. And every time he would like siege up the tanks, we would move them a little back. Buy a lot of time. Kill more workers. Get another planetary up. And that was actually a very cool playstyle. Now this Terran is a little bit crazy. And I'm going to tell that just by the SCV timing. What he's doing right now is basically scouting like those annoying Protoss players that want to harass you with their probe right away. But SCVs don't heal automatically, unfortunately. So this harassment is just going to cost him a lot of money. Now, I'm still going to scout his base because this was a little bit sus. I don't think he's necessarily doing a proxy because... If, if this guy is doing a proxy well scouting me this early, he's actually going to have zero money. Like, he's going to be the poorest Terran of all time. So I'm quickly just going to check his base again. Like, there must be a reason why he scouted so early. And it could be, like, he got proxy reaper in the last game. And he... And what the hell is going on here? Why is there another SCV? Where is that go? Okay, I actually... I really want to know what the hell is going on here, guys. Because this is getting a little... Where did that go? Did he just send it over here? Did I see, like, wh why? <laughs> like, what on earth is that SCV doing? I was going to say, the reason could be simple. Like, he probably got Proxy Reaper last game, or I don't know, any other early game shenanigans. But, uh, okay, he's trying to take this base? Like, actually? Oh, my... Dude, I hope... Th this is what I want to see. I hope this is the best mind game of all time, and he's about to jump into my base with two Reapers. Doesn't really look like it's going to be the case, though. He's just going to take a little damage on that Reaper right away. Uh, and that was it. And I'm really confused as to why he showed that SCV to me. That actually, I, I cannot, you know, wrap my brain around that right now. Like, why? That's such a cool idea, you know? Build an expansion here, and it's going to be like the best mind game ever. You're going to have access to the gold minerals. But then he shows me the SCV and just loses the SCV for the memes, I guess. Now, I suppose I should still send this out on the map because I did want to go for uh, a proxy starport. I, I am a little scared because I do have zero information right now. So technically... Our opponent could be on one base right now. Like, he could be going for one base BC for all I know. Like, I really have no idea, right? So that is potentially a little bit scary. It would be really fun if I would take this base now, wouldn't it? I, I, I mean, it would maybe be like a little bit embarrassing for him, but I think it would actually be very fun. Okay, I'm going to make a second starport over here. He's going to lose a Reaper right away. I guess he was probably trying to uh, get an easy scout on the natural. Oh, I think what he did is he probably clicked into the main base. And because my depot is blocking it, it walked all the way around. That is most likely what happened. Makes a lot of sense. That's why you build your depots there, guys. Wait, does he actually have it? I just assumed he did, but I'm not sure I actually checked. Does he actually have it blocked? No, he doesn't have it blocked. Okay, where the hell are you going? Let's see. Hey, there's nothing up here. Does he have a command center? Okay, he does. Thank, thank goodness he has that command center. I was going to get really scared. Starport with a tech lab as well. That is slightly surprising, actually. Triple command center. Oh, wait. Well, he actually was going to go so greedy on us. You guys realize what he was doing? That wasn't his natural that he was going to build after a double gas. I think he went for a reaper. He went for a reaper expand and he was going to build his third base there. This, this build is actually getting crazier by the second. Like, holy cow, this is insane. I'm just going to burrow a couple of Widow Mines there for the memes. And then the Raven Harass is going to commence. It's going to sacrifice two Marines. So maybe I can bait him into this. That'd be nice. Let's see. 
I'm gonna try bait him over here. Now what I'm gonna do this game is I'm gonna build the command center on location. This might be a little greedy. But I think based on what we've seen so far, my opponent is probably not going to be attacking me. So I should be able to get away with this. Now, let's see. Going to start getting my... Oh, wait. Is he... I hope he's... Okay, thank goodness he wasn't moving out. That way the mine is barely going to get a shot off, I believe, which is quite nice. That one is going to recharge just in time. Oh, he's actually going to use a scan for it. I don't mind that at all either. So he's going to walk into this way of mine. Let me make sure to uh, target the clump of the marines there. That's going to be very nice. This, gonna... this widow mine is also going to hit hard. I should be able to retarget really fast. Yes! Oh! Did that just do zero splash damage? I thought I targeted that so freaking well. What the hell is that? That is actually... What, can I? No, it's two tanks already. Go. I'm gonna have to bring my ravens back. Actually, I'm gonna beat all those marines because they're one HP. That's kind of funny, honestly. Uh, but I am gonna have to bring my ravens back, which is a little bit annoying. But in the end, I don't think we're gonna take too much damage from this. Like, we're gonna lose a uh, reactor here, but really don't think it matters that much honestly let's see if i can get away with burrowing this probably barely not oh i can wait i think the medevac is gonna die guys the medevac is going to die which means this tank is gonna die to that auto turret and then my next auto turret is gonna be able to take care of this tank unless he unseizes it so far it took a lot of damage and i still don't really know what's going on in this game this game is extremely weird uh, and normally it's it's me that's causing it but now it's it's really not me. I mean, you guys are going to probably look at me like, Mark, are you serious? It's obviously you, but I, I swear. I'm, I'm not freaking doing anything here, okay? I'm just trying to freaking decipher what the hell my opponent's doing, and I am not really figuring out so far. But maybe at some point we will. Now, let's see. Oh, he does have Vikings. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying, right? Vikings, Vikings. I think I'm going to make a command center over here because I will need... Let's see what he has over here. I will need the uh, planetary at the front. I'm going to drop a couple auto turrets next to that tank. Should be able to target all of those marines down. He's trying to repair the tank, but that's not even what I was targeting there. So I'm going to get a couple marines there, which is quite nice. Going to build a couple turrets out here as well. Get my factory on the reactor. Maybe another turret over here just in case he tries to attack me later. Actually, a couple of random turrets. That's not something I was doing before but that could totally help let's see i oh those are marines i thought they were going to be widow mines what's my scv count 58 scvs i feel like we're in a decent spot it's really hard to tell because my opponent went for a fast triple command center right which is obviously quite painful so he's going to go for a double drop here together with uh two vikings uh at least i have to imagine i don't have interfer wait he's actually he's going for it oh my god he's, he's freaking crazy why is he going for that? Oh my god, he's gonna lose the medevacs to literally the wall. Oh, that is... That is not the play. That hurts a little bit. Like, you guys know I play every race now, but I am a little bit of a Terran player at heart, and that that's actually a little painful to me. I can't believe he would treat his beautiful marines and siege tanks like that. No, I think I just killed something. I did just kill something. It. I kind of feel like maybe he took this base already, right? Because otherwise, he should have had the other third base already i think let's get that planetary up and then we're gonna see i think it's a good time to get interference matrix for us as well so he does he doesn't have this base he went for a super fast third cc to then just keep it at home for the memes i i suppose that that really seems like well what's going on here and maybe i can get a decent fight over here i have a lot of auto turrets so i can probably just spam them if he, he's stimming into... The other turrets are already there and he's stimming into them. That's going to be so painful for the Marines. I can even kill the Medivacs. I think I killed the entire army and I still killed all the SCVs that my uh, other turrets were in range of. So that was a very, very inefficient trade for the opponent there. He could have just run away and he would have lost like so much less. Like not even close. In fact, he would have lost everything less because I wouldn't have killed either the Medivacs or the Marines or the SCVs. So that, uh, yeah, not his best decision of the game so far. I think our opponent is definitely having a bit of a hard time dealing with my weirdness so far. I'm starting to wonder if my opponent is one of those players that always plays like his own builds myself. So he's not used to his opponents also playing weird. And that's why he's struggling so much. Because so far, he really is struggling. Like, I don't think anyone can deny this. He's lost so much stuff to those freaking Widow Mines as well on the map. Now, let's see what he has over here. He has absolutely nothing. So I have to imagine that his army... Wait, is he... He's stimming forward. I, I, I don't know what he's doing anymore, guys. Like, why is he stepping forward with single marines after having lost all of them to a couple of... Wait, he didn't even stim all of them. He still has a couple of these at home. Let me drop an anti-armor missile. That's going to make these turrets a little better. So he's going to lose all of the marines again. 
or pretty no he's actually literally gonna lose all of them i think while well, he had a couple more there at the back end i wonder what the units lost in this game is i feel like it must be absolutely freaking disgusting to see the, the units lost tab in this game and i feel like we're at a point where i could start going for drilling claws drilling claws could be very helpful i guess i'm just gonna burrow more and more widow mines in front of his base i mean if he if he wants to keep running single file marines into them then who am i to complain about it right i'm gonna go for my auto turret and planetary upgrades from the engineering bay i really wish i had an scv over here I, I could make a medevac for that or i could mine out this wall but i don't actually want to mine out that wall because then my base is going to be more exposed like my opponent all of a sudden is not going to have to drop in my base anymore he would be able to literally just walk in uh, after he drops his army here or after he kills the rock so that would not be very pleasant at all let's see there's no vikings here he does have a lot of marines we don't have to give him that like he didn't just go for uh like five racks or so like he actually look how many freaking reactors he has right like his army is gonna be absolutely enormous so i'm gonna kill the scvs over here it looks like he f2 this army judging by yeah exactly judging by these marines stimming over here. gonna start dropping a couple turrets here these vikings are actually gonna die which is super nice because those are the biggest threat to my ravens of course every scv here is pretty much already dead and i'm gonna move on to the third base dude i feel like this guy has like 60 supply or something i think he's actually lost everything to these ravens at this point it almost looks like he gave up but it's because there's a really big drop in the main now this is gonna be a little bit difficult to deal with so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna move all the widow mines back as well uh i hope wait i need to make a planetary here this is an extremely good move by the way like i know we were you know focusing on a lot of mistakes here because realistically he did just make a lot of them but this is an actually fantastic move because with auto terrorists this is going to be quite difficult to clean up now the big advantage for me is that we have pretty much killed his entire economy so i just need to defend this attack and we're fine like the fact that i lost the main command center stuff is all of a sudden not that big of a deal anymore so i'm trying to get as many auto turrets out as i can the Medivex are already all dead, I believe. Like, look how hard these are to kill. I don't actually have auto terrorists left on these. I do have a couple of widow mines left. I don't have any factories left. I should probably rebuild those ASAP. Um, he's actually he's doing the same thing with the single file marines again. I don't have drilling claws yet, so for now it's actually gonna work. But we're finally gonna clean it up. All right, there we go. Now that was definitely the the toughest thing that we have had to deal with yet this game. I don't want to lose that armory. Now, thank goodness for me, I have this planetary over here. He does have a lot of marines, you know. He really doesn't... Oh, I don't have a planetary over here, guys. Okay, this is potentially going to be very difficult here. I'm going to drop a couple of auto turrets prematurely. Uh, because I need that planetary, else we're going to be in trouble. Like, it's so funny. Like, the planetary, they do absolutely everything for me, right? The moment I do not have uh, a planetary to defend, we are going to be in trouble. Now, I want to guess that he is going to drop either the main or the natural again i feel like that is a completely logical i i thought i was repairing it i guess not i'll have to make it again now um i maybe should have made a sensor tower over here so he's gonna try drop this again that is probably not the best location to drop my friend you're gonna be losing all of those medivacs there's a planetary here as well and i think oh my god the medivacs actually died to those widow up there and he's gonna lose all of those marines very fast and we have done it all right resources lost 6k against 14k and this game was freaking crazy. I played like a psycho. My opponent possibly played even more like a psycho. He had an incredibly hard time dealing with everything that we did until he got an absolutely amazing marine drop, probably leaving him to wonder why didn't I just do this before instead of sending so many marines to their death through the Wither Mines. This was a really fantastic warm-up game. Let's keep it going. The second game is going to be against Exceed, a 4.4, almost 4.4 Protoss player. Now we're playing... Wait, actually, I played against him before, right? We're playing on Amphil. I, I think I remember this name. I the, the game that's jumping to my mind is the game on Ghost River where the Protoss went AFK. <laughs> no, I don't want to, you know, put that on him 100% in case it's not him because he might not want to be known as uh, the guy who would, got angry and went AFK. But I think it might have been him. Or maybe it was just in the same episode. That's also possible. But I remember that game um and i think we're just gonna have to play as if he knows our style which doesn't mean we have to do something super drastic but i guess how can i explain this so if you play against someone who you think knows your strategy you never want to like you know shoot yourself in the foot thinking okay he's gonna do this blind counter and we're gonna get owned but what you can do 
is you can kind of play as if your opponent has a little bit more info. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have my first Raven and it's completely unscouted. It might be smarter to not send the Raven to his base directly. Because if he remembers me as the Raven guy, he might go for Phoenixes, right? Now, I'm not going to change my build completely and make 100 turrets and stuff like that. But I might have to just be like a little more sneaky with my tactics, perhaps. You know, like maybe it would be smarter for me to send the Raven uh, around the right side to dodge potential Phoenixes. Which is not really going to disturb my build that much. Uh, you know, my Raven is going to arrive a little later, but maybe it's going to be even in a better angle. But at least if it's like a brutal blind counter then you know we kind of avoid just losing our first raven instantly now i don't quite remember what build we did unfortunately i remember that we played with very late widow mines i it's actually pretty funny uh must be for you guys as well to watch me kind of piece the episodes together because i remember the evolution of the episodes as well i think what happened is that i played the game where we lost against the protoss on dynasty um and then we lost by playing like mass widow mines right away right so then to counteract that i think i went for mass raven straight up instead of making widow mines first and i think that was the game against this guy on ghost river when we went mass ravens with a lot of planetaries and we just got an insane amount of damage on and we even ended up killing his entire main base which is one wave of auto turrets let's see i'm gonna make this over here oh no stop it oh i was just too late clicking it back okay that's actually very painful um I think I have to cancel that, honestly, but I also don't really want to. <laughs> oh man, this is an annoying situation. My opponent does not have an expansion, and it's very likely that we're gonna go up against some kind of cheese here. Um, I think the best thing I can do is probably make a bunker. Oh, I don't know if I wanna make a bunker. Like, realistically, I'm gonna defend this by making a, just a bunch of widow mines right like i'm not necessarily going to defend it with my marines i guess i'll just start shooting this zealot for a little bit let's see how much damage i can get there for free then i'm gonna burrow these widow mines over here don't want to lose this reaper if i can avoid it of course and then i'm gonna cancel this command center as soon as i get enough money to make another one there we go and now i'm gonna have two widow mines to keep me safe and maybe this is not even that bad honestly like i i'm gonna have enough widow mines to stop the stalkers from coming in if he wants to lose another stalker that's fine with me i can just go ahead and save these and i have the bunker up already and all in all this really doesn't seem that bad for me like my opponent most likely went for an expansion right away um after this all happened so i would have to guess it is maybe about to be done i wouldn't say it's finished yet but it's probably getting pretty close to completing now don't forget guys i am allowed to make medivacs i haven't really used my right to make medivacs a lot so far i believe in the channel especially not against protoss but i am allowed to make medivacs for the widow mine drops and since his stalkers are just going to be camping outside of my base that is probably the right way to go for me i actually really want to scan his base but it's also very expensive to do that right let's see i'm gonna start sneaking these out a little bit looks like his stalkers are still very happily chilling in front of my base mm, i guess i might as well get a medevac and interference matrix i don't really need it yet but i might as well make use of the tech lab right away i'm gonna scan his main base yeah exactly cannon and stargate okay so this guy definitely has a good idea of what i'm going to do here so i wasn't wrong there now he's making an oracle i think i might be able to counter the oracle by just spreading my widow mines now i'm not gonna risk this mineral line being entirely unexposed now he was already i'm actually very happy to see uh, the cannons by the way because cannons i know they're good against widow mine drops but going for cannons that early is just pretty bad for your build order which you know doesn't make me unhappy of course so what i'm gonna do actually this is a really cool idea that i just got i'm gonna drop these widow mines below this ramp and then kind of try to force him out with my other units oh this is a really cool idea actually check this out and then i can just go ahead and scout with this medevac instead of um dropping in his base because he does already have the cannons and stargate units and all that stuff right now let's see are the stalkers still there the stalkers are still there i know he does have an oracle i think we're just gonna go and push him out like this this is gonna be a good idea here gonna burrow this one over there and now he's gonna walk into the widow eyes there we go yes that is beautiful and now these are already low hp 
And I should be able to counter the last one uh, by just burrowing these close enough. It's kind of funny how hard he's uh, trying to dodge these right now. I mean, it makes sense, but he's still going to end up being cornered, unfortunately, for him. Now, I have to imagine that my opponent is... He's still trying to get to the perfect spot, is making phoenixes at this point. It looked like he was making an oracle. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. He's banking phoenix. That's what I thought. So this guy knows 100% what's going on. Uh, and that's why it's really good that I went for those scans. I have a lot of widow mines. I actually think if there's no other base, we are a little bit ahead. I know it sounds crazy after like all the damage I took and the freaking drastic measures I had to take to not die to a couple stalkers, right? Like these widow bites in the back and stuff. But judging by how little economy he had, like no gases and stuff, not that many probes, I think we're economically a little bit ahead. Now, I have to play this a little smart because Ravens are not going to get the job done against Phoenix, is most likely. He's going to fly into Widow Mine number one, Widow Mine number two, and he's going to lose Widow Mine number three. No, oh, wait. Oh my god, that almost died. I almost killed every single Phoenix there. Like, the defense there was very good. Um, what I was going to say is I have to play this a little smart because I can't really brute force my way, my way with Ravens this game. Um... I guess I should play this very economic and just get like a lot of turrets and go for planetaries and stuff like that. He's going to shade in and lose those to Widomize. I can already feel it. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's so funny. It feels so satisfying to not have to do anything to defend something, right? Like normally uh, Starcraft is like 50% just panicking and, and trying not to die to like random stuff. He's going to try going again. And this time I'll just counter with my auto turrets. I'll surround him a little bit and they're all going to die again. Like this is really not doing that much damage. And it is losing him so far 100 gas and 400 minerals. So I guess we're really not going to complain about that. He doesn't have this base yet, which is nice. Now there is one thing we have to be very scared of. And that is the potential carry okay still making phoenix is really good like if he gets ever gets up to like a big carrier count we might not be able to kill it anymore so we have to be a little careful there right now let me bring a couple more widow mines so i don't get owned by the phoenixes two turrets is that going to be enough to kill the pylon maybe i guess we'll see if it is gonna burrow a couple more widow mines over here maybe one below my base and then we'll start saturating this as soon as we can I don't, I'm not really sure if I care about the gateway dying that fast. I might as well let that die very slowly to the Reapers. Now, let's see. He doesn't actually have an armor yet. I actually F2 this medevac back, which was completely unintentional. But I guess it did survive, so that's nice. I feel like I want to go for drilling close a bit faster this game. Because if he goes for, like, carriers or... Even something like mass zealots, I think we're just going to need a little more firepower. And I don't really have the same comfortable setup that I would usually have at this point in the game, right? So I think drilling close could be a nice option. I don't really have enough gas yet, unfortunately. Let's see. So he has a robo, a couple of gateways. I'm going to drop a couple turrets to kill this, actually. Uh, do I make an armor? Okay, there we go. I wasn't quite sure if I had built it already. Going to make another command center as well. I would love to be able to move out and just burrow in his face. I think we're going to make one attempt at that. We're gonna try again later if we fail but um i guess the first attempt is gonna be the one that has to do the most damage because after that it's gonna be a little obvious what my game plan is now i haven't seen an observer yet which is also quite nice let's make a couple turrets over here okay wait can i surround these i kind of surround these but not really i guess let's see where the phoenix is the phoenixes are nowhere to be seen yet i guess i will just leave a trail of widow mines all over the place Let's see, it's going to be quite nice. Here we go. And then I'm going to target the pylon over here. That pylon is going to fall very fast. I have a lot of widow mines, guys, and the cannons are unpowered. And you really didn't expect this attack. And this is going to be absolutely massive. I think he's going to try to do the splash damage. So we're going to do some splits. There we go. The raven survived because of the splits. And now the workers are going to die. If he tries one more time, he's going to lose that phoenix as well. Do that auto turret. And it seems like we have crushed him once again. Now I am going to start a drilling class. I don't actually have energy here left. So that is is uh, a little bit worrisome i think i'm gonna fall back for now and just leave the widow mines there I, I really think those uh ravens could get killed at some point i don't know how many stargates he has right it doesn't really look like he has a lot of stargates so far 
But if he would ever get, uh, I don't know, three Stargates or something, a couple Chronos on that, that's six Phoenixes, every single Raven here would die. And I have learned that we really shouldn't be overconfident in this challenge, so let's play it smart. He did have another base over here as well, or, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if he was taking it or he already had it, but I guess that is more saturated than I thought. And judging by the lack of Phoenixes, guys, I really think that this might be Carriers, which I'm really, where, where the hell is that? Okay, there, I couldn't even see that Observer. I was like, how the hell does he even see this? Um, I think I might have to... Yeah, I'm going to mine this out now. It, it, it feels weird to say, but his ground army doesn't really seem like it's going to be a massive problem. It seems more that... I, I could still be wrong, guys, but it seems more like if it is a carry transition that that is going to be the real problem. So I'm going to mine this out so I can walk there with my widow mines. I could also drop out of turrets and kill these rocks, but that's obviously a little, uh, little wasteful, you could say. Let's see, I don't have a scan available, unfortunately. That's because I... Um, made so many planetaries i guess i'll just keep them well, maybe i can move them around a little bit actually if he's not paying attention he's gonna lose a stalker these do have drilling claws after all let's see i'm gonna burrow just one is he close enough he was actually close enough maybe i can snipe the observer where did the observer go is it right here oh please hey there we go i mean it's not gonna matter that much anymore but still it's always uh, quite pleasant i think i'm gonna go ahead and try to take this base as well build a lot of turrets over here so we have this location on the map uh secured as well now, I have 83 SCV. It's actually not that much for this challenge. I feel like I could use a couple more. Uh, probably should keep mining this base instead. Let me uh, send some more here. Now, I'm still quite sure that it is... Exactly, there are the carriers. It feels like he just hasn't had enough stuff for this to be something else. Um, this, this actually is quite scary. Like, I can't lie about it, guys. The carriers, they should not die to this stuff at all. I can, however... Uh, drop matrixes on the carriers. Like, that's something that I can definitely do. Let's see. I'm just going to matrix all of them right away so we can buy time and I can actually get my freaking uh, turrets down here. Let's see. I'm going to bring these widow mines a little closer. The uh, observer fell already, which is quite nice. Let's see. I'm going to get the matrixes again right away. There we go. So these carriers are going to be matrix. These ravens are really low HP and that is quite scary. Like, I'm going to have to pull back with these at the perfect time and I think that perfect time is honestly now one of those carries actually no it actually barely got healed by the freaking shield battery i'm not quite sure if these turrets are gonna get up i think they might barely get up he's focused on the widow mines for now and these turrets are quite these turrets have building armor by the way like you can tell these turrets are doing way better than you expected probably it's actually because they have building armor so look at this all the interceptors are pretty much already gone i think did he just actually lose a carrier uh, did the turrets actually just kill a carrier? I think they might have, guys. So he's still losing intership, man. This is actually so freaking cool. I'm going to make a command center here as well. I think I need to bring a couple more SEVs over. I also need to repair these. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to be able to kill the pylon here. The um, adepts are actually going for my SEV, which is a little bit rude, to be honest. But it is what it is. I'm going to bring all of these over to go for auto repairs. Guys, you actually cannot get any interceptors out because the turrets are just too strong. Right? These turrets are actually a little bit of a genius move somehow. I'm going to start building more turrets because I never want him to get this base. I'm going to drop these widow mines over here and these are going to go to the next base. And I feel like we actually have a rather nice setup going on over here. I don't know if I... These widow mines are actually quite dangerous, right? I think these widow mines are the ones that made my raven HP low to begin with. Uh, because they just exploded on, you know, and doing like an insane amount of splash damage here. So I'm going to drop a ton of turrets. We're going to kill one of the carriers already. Maybe another one actually is getting a little bit too close there. Can we kill that one? I think we are going to kill that carrier with that auto turret. Yeah, we actually did get it. That is fantastic. Now, let me make sure to finish these uh, turrets over here. I do still have a lot of supply, by the way. Like, I've, I have 107 SCVs. I have so many command centers that I can just rebuild all of those instantly. And keep in mind, he doesn't actually have a base. Now, killing carriers is quite important here. Because I still think if he ever gets, like, too many carriers out, then, you know, we are still going to be in a little bit of trouble. But if we just keep this up, like, there's no way he's ever going to do enough damage here. Like, he... Keep in mind, guys, he is... Let's see if this base by any chance. No, okay, thank goodness. I got scared of that for a second. He... He doesn't have a lot of money, and he's spending it all rebuilding interceptors, which is really not going to be that useful. He's probably quite shocked at how good this strategy is doing. Like, I don't think he expected the building armor to pop off so freaking hard. Let's see if I can kill one of the carriers. That one is taking a significant amount of damage, but that doesn't seem like it's going to be enough. At some point, like, I will actually be able to take this base, by the way, which I know sounds really ridiculous, but... I mean, I have enough turrets here. This is the most well-defended base on the map right now, which is freaking insane. Now, one thing I do have to be careful of is that I have 114 SCVs, right? 
if I make too many SCVs. Oh, those Widowmites are actually going to shoot the carrier? Are we going to kill it? I think so. Yeah, we are going to kill the carrier. So uh, at some point, I might not have a big enough army. Like for now, the Ravens are doing really, really good, of course. But at some point, I might actually not have a big enough army. And I think we're just going to start taking this base because why not? You can tell that he already tried to... Maybe I should make a couple of turrets in the main base and stuff in, in case he tries to go for a base trade. That would actually be quite smart. Uh, let's see. I don't know where the carriers are now. He probably tried to take that base and realized that he couldn't. And then as soon as I killed this... Actually, Ravens are significantly faster than carriers, of course. So I should always be able to escape here. I think I'm just going to focus down the battery, followed by the pylon. And that should be a pretty comfortable uh, determin or extermination of this base, I wanted to say. Now, we're going to kill every single probe here. Just need to oh, I don't actually have a scan. I was going to say, I need to make sure to keep scanning so I know where the carriers are. I, I guess I can fly away anyway, right? It's not the biggest deal ever. I can always fly away from the carriers if they show up. So now, I need to retreat a little bit. Maybe I can move forward with the, to, with the Widow Mines to see exactly what he's doing. Oh, I did forget the armor upgrades completely, by the way. That's a little bit of a mistake. Let's see if I can get in here with my Widow Mines. And honestly, guys, I think it's starting to look like our opponent is AFKing once more. Like, it feels, I, I, I think I was actually right about who this player was because it's it seems like he did actually AFK once more at some point. He hasn't actually used his carriers in a long time. Here, it is just the, car the cannon fight. I don't even know where the carriers are. Oh, there they are. Yeah, oh my god, he did actually go AFK again. Oh my goodness. Exceed, exceed, exceed. You cannot be pulling the same trick multiple times. Oh, he did. Wait, I think I baited him on accident, right? Because he's not actually micro me. He's probably going to lose the carrier to the turrets. Maybe that is the best way I can actually exterminate him. Now, I'm not quite sure if I want to make you guys watch all of this again. It was very satisfying the last time to kill all of the buildings, but I think that is the carriers. It might actually take quite a while. I wonder if I can kill that. Wait. Well, why are these turrets not in rage? Come on, finish these turrets. I guess I'll just make sure to kill the static defenses first. Now, there's always the chance that he's going to write something salty. That would obviously be massive bonus content if he could. Now, I'm going to do something that I usually never get the opportunity to do. Uh, which is that I'm going to set all my SEVs. Like, guys, when people, they get a little salty... You, you kind of have to play with him a little bit, you know? Like, you can tell that he's clearly getting a little salty, so it would be fun to play with him a little bit and send all the SUVs across. These carriers are actually doing a little bit better than I expected. I guess I can burrow these Widow Mines and kill a couple of these. Let's see. The, uh, the uh, turrets are doing so much freaking work. It's actually insane. Gonna start dropping all of my auto turrets over here. But, you know... I know it's like a little weird that he's going for a to, going to AFK because he's angry that he lost twice in a row. But I do think it's very, very satisfying in a way to just be able to do whatever you want. It's like my... It's kind of like I'm playing in God Mode or something, you know? Like, I get to take over the game completely and just kill all the buildings. It's like I freaking, uh, you know, started up playing against the AI or whatever, and I refused their... What, what did they say? Their request to surrender, I just straight up refused it. But I think it's enough for now, guys. It's obviously... Uh, it's obvious at this point that he's not going to continue this game. Exceed has rage quit twice in a row to mass Ravens, and this time he even went for the blind counter, which is very, very cool that we were still able to beat it. And the challenge is still looking very very strong but i'm gonna leave it at this hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did if you enjoyed exceeds demise a little bit of a rage quit here make sure to get a video a like subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all for the next video adios